on the first day of REI we are now joined by Mr. Ganesh Murthy ji from Luminous so Mr. Murthy uh, currently what are the major products that Luminous is offering for the Indian market in terms of like modules inverters what are the major things see Luminous is a 37 year old company mm -hmm. and uh, we have been accelerating towards bringing a full stack solution for consumers in India when it comes to power and energy solutions yeah. If you look at power and energy solutions for residential and small CNDI markets, we are the only company in India who is having the end-to-end -end full stack solutions. So when I say end-to-end -end full stack, you can imagine you need solar modules, you need solar inverters, you have solar batteries, you need IoT connectivity and you have an app ecosystem which you need on top. So we are the only company who is having providing all these solutions. So this is what Luminous is all about. So currently what we have seen that in the last two years, a lot of inverter companies have like uh, offered hybrid inverters. They have brought hybrid inverters for the Indian market. So currently for the storage part in this, they have lead acid and lithium ion battery. So in Luminous, what do you see? What is the majority of the demand comes from? Is it for lithium or lead acid? See, I think uh, in order to answer this question, one should understand uh, the difference between the technologies. So uh, there is always a uh, technology is different. It doesn't mean that one technology is inferior than the other. There are different applications for different technologies as such. But just going one step above and answering your question. See, when we look at it, um, uh, we are a company who is actually building, developing with technology and manufacturing all types of inverters. When I say all types of inverters, you have backup inverters, which does not connect to solar. We have off-grid inverters, which connects to solar, but does not export to the grid. We have only on-grid inverters which only exports to the grid, does not connect to a battery. And we have hybrid inverters which does all the three. Right? So when you're really talking about hybrid inverters, hybrid inverters is kind of a new phenomena for the country. So far we have been doing off-grid inverters or backup inverters because generally export was not a thing maybe three, four years back, right? Because of government initiative like PM Suryagar Yojana project, we have initiative, we have come up with our on-grid inverters, which is very, very good, right? And when it comes to hybrid inverters, Imagine you have an on-grid inverter and you also need a backup for your home. Then you need to have another inverter which gives backup for your home. This is what hybrid was supposed to solve. When hybrid is supposed to be supposedly solving, yeah. you imagine the loads at your home. Your loads at your home are ranging between let's say like 1 kilowatt to 5 kilowatt, right? When you're really talking about 1 kilowatt to 5 kilowatt, lead acid is one of the most proven technology in the market today. And our advantage of lead acid, right? So it's a battery which can actually discharge at a faster C rate, lower C rate which means higher current can be discharged, lower current can be discharged. Of course, your backup time will get reduced. But this is a technology which is like kind of, you know, scalable within the capacity that it has. Of course, the C rates are little lower, maybe charging uh, takes time. However, it has its own advantage. And also, it's so much recyclable, right? And also, it is a something that is uh, giving, getting you at a lower cost, right? When it comes to lithium-ion batteries, it has a different set of advantages, which is very new for India market. Today, even the prices is 2x of lead acid batteries. However, the cycle life, the TCO, you know, the kind of uh, charge rate that at which you can charge, getting the battery back faster, there are certain advantages with lithium as well. So it's basically a consumer choice on whether they focus size, weight, volume, and then the, whether they focus cycle life, or they focus, you know, uh, a battery which is something which is very standard, which is already proven technology in the market, and they don't want to think about all the electronics which goes inside, and then they can, they can choose lead versus lithium. Really, the shift happens when you really talk about the higher kilowatts. Let's say 30 kilowatt and above, right? I cannot put so many batteries, let us say batteries in the strings. So if you're really talking about hybrid inverters for commercial applications, which is going beyond 30 kilowatts, that's when lithium really takes, you know, uh, its own place. However, before that, we always give the choice to the consumer, to our dealers and distributors, that whichever technology is convenient, based on cost, quality and, uh, you know, the TCO, then they can take their own choice. So for the residential and the CNI market, you see both the technologies coexisting, lithium ion as well as lead acid. Definitely, when your loads are so low, as low as 500 watts to 1 kilowatt in small homes, in small tissues, definitely still lead makes a lot of advantages. When you're coming to metro market, where in your home you don't have a lot of real estate space, you want all-in-one kind of a solution, then lithium really, you know, takes its own place. But we definitely see up to 30 kilowatt, really there is a good play between lead and lithium. And we hope both the technologies actually go hand in hand. So what are the advantages you have seen in the best market, especially like uh, first question of what Luminous is offering in the best market and second, how much transition it has happened in this sector, particular technology wise. See, uh, when you really talk about BESS, there are two types of BESS if you really see, right? So you have a utility scale BESS, uh, you know, kind of front of the meter where you're talking to the grid, you are exporting power to the grid, etc, etc. And then there is a behind the meter kind of a BSS application, which is purely a backup kind of a market. 
this is built for kind of DG replacement, right? Where you have diesel generators. Uh, you know, you know what are, what are all the advantages and disadvantages with diesel generators. So I don't want to talk about it. However, we are targeting these kind of market, which is a backup, long duration energy storage market. This is what Luminous is all about. So starting from, we already have a range starting from one kilowatt hour all the way till 15 kilowatt hour for residential and small CNI. When we start from BSS, we are from 15 kilowatt hour. We can go all the way to one megawatt hour. That's what I. Would Why say. you think this base market is booming? We can see a lot of integration of solar with base. Is it the de decrease in the te technology of the raw materials or uh, some other thing, prices or technological advances? Yeah, yeah, what is the main? I think uh, you can always correlate this with the electric vehicle transition that has happened. Uh, EVs have become a better, you know, future technology, and people are willing to adapt it because of the dollars per kilowatt hour reduction. Yeah. Same thing happening here, and the same phenomena that we are seeing. There is a price reduction on the lithium-ion batteries, so that's definitely actually pushing us to, you know, pushing consumers to adapt to uh, BSS segment. However, when you see because of the dollars per kilowatt hour reduction, the total cost of ownership or the return on investment, which used to be three, four years, now it has become one and of two years, right? So that is some definitely it's driving. Technology has improved a lot. Very good battery management systems have come in place, very good power conversion systems, very good STS and, and people like us, you know, I think there are very few companies like us, but in India, if the only company which is providing the full stack. So if you are a consumer who wants a full stack for C&I, then, uh, you know, these advantages, uh, you know, these convenience, which is helping people to adapt BSS at a faster scale. I hope this will grow much faster. Thank you, Thank you Mr. Murthy, for talking to us.